Hello, hello everyone. Happy Sunday. Thank you for joining me for yet another CAD tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing um, what I understand is called the tearing method. I'm not sure if that is what it's called, but I guess um, I've seen, you know, a few people do it from watching YouTube, um, you know, videos about CAD making, and I wanted to try it myself. So I want to share that with you. I do have um, some of the stuff I need sorted out already um, just some different strips I'm going pretty much with green shades um, for that and this is just a piece that I had and I was experimenting with I'll be using this in order to get the base that I want and I will be using an embossing folder so that I can get a little sort of you know pattern on the plain pieces I kind of like my pieces to have some kind of you know, um, dimension on them. So um, I'll be doing those. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I am going to emboss those pieces. All right, so let me get this done here really quickly. And then we'll get the other piece done. And I'm not doing this here for any, you know, to make any of the designs match or anything like that. I'm just pretty much putting some kind of dimension on there because I just like it. So you see the design is here. So I want that. And I'm going to do the next piece. All right. So um, I'm going to get started because I'm going... Um, from the top to the bottom. So I'm going to start uh, tearing this one off. So I'm just going to do like just tear it off. And no, no special design, you, you know, just tear the ends. So you see it has the torn edge. I'm just going to like mess with it, you know, fluff it up or do something, you know, just so that it doesn't look all straight. And then sometimes you can also do it a little tear in there, you know, like this. I don't know if you can see that, but um, yeah, this is one of the ways you can do the tear. I'm going to go ahead and start by sticking the first piece up here. So I'm going to make it sit like on the, as much to the top as possible of this piece so that it is actually covering the red on the other side. So this is the first piece. Now I'm going to tear off this other one here. Now this one, I'm just going to kind of cut it in the, sort of like in the pattern it has here as much as possible. See, just as, you know, just as much as I can. And then I'm going to go ahead and get it stuck on top of that. So let's also kind of play up with these little pieces, kind of tear a little piece there. You know, kind of make it look jagged or rough. I don't know if you can, you guys can see that. And I'll put this piece, this piece on. Okay, so now you, you can start seeing the design coming together. I'm going to use this piece now, and then I'm going to, let's see, how do I want to do this? You see, it's kind of hard. I might just do it right across. So, see, more of a cross. So again, I'm going to fluff up the edges. Just fluff up the edges and kind of tear little places okay so here you have the different um, you know levels shapes whatever you want to call them but it's just the you know the tearing you know paper tearing technique you know that I kind of saw so I'm going to just do something here really quickly and I'm going to adhere it to a card base so this is just that big old 
paper thing in the ink. I'm just going to make sure that all the, the edges are all even. Now I have this one here. I'm going to go ahead and place it. I think I want this kind of shorter, you see. I want it to actually, you know, kind of fit in a way here. So what I might do is just cut a smidge on the bottom. So this is here. Now this is green. You can put it on here or maybe if you want a lot more of a dramatic effect, then I guess you can put it on a red card base. Maybe it might look a lot more attractive. So maybe I'll do that. I'll put it on a what you might call it, a red card base. Okay, so I am going to have this adhered to the um, the base at this time. I think because it's, you know, kind of Christmassy, I just feel like adhering it to a green, a uh, red base. Sorry. Okay. And then I'm going to grab, this is a little flower thingy, I'm going to just place it right here. But I will use dimensional squares on that because I do want it to still be kind of up there. I'm going to stick a couple of those squares on. Well, not a couple, a whole bunch of them really. Okay, so this is the card. I am going to, um, you know, print the happy birthday on another or, you know, whichever birthday sentiment I choose. I'm going to set it, you know, perhaps next to this here. And this is your card. So you can mix colors if you have a lot of scrap and you want to, you know, um, use it up. That's a way you can use it up as well. So thank you guys so much. Tell me what you think. And um, please have a safe Labor Day weekend. And, um, you know, enjoy your week. And I shall see you guys next Sunday. Bye.